Um, Matt, uh, she's uh, talking about high-speed rail, uh, environmental possibilities uh, from the stimulus as well. Uh, what do you react? How do you react to that? Oh well, you know, environmentalists are certainly giddy with the promise of the Obama administration and, and the new leadership of uh, the Energy and Commerce Committee in the House and, and so on and, and so forth. But uh, hopefully, sober with the memory of, of the excitement when Al Gore came in the White House in 1993 as well. That we need to both help and push and, and support the administration in this agenda. Uh, yeah, high-speed rail uh, infrastructure and, and transportation is critical to um, uh, this green economy, this green job potential. This uh, um, uh, and, and moving beyond it, uh, how do we invest in uh, every time we sell a home, uh, make sure that we require an energy, energy retrofit and get people re retrofitting their homes now? And how do we put dollars on the street for that? How do we make every school uh, a power plant in, in, uh, in our neighborhood? Uh, here in Los Angeles, that could be possible with the mayor's uh, ballot initiative along with federal support. Um, how do we ensure every affordable housing development, you know, is, is lowering energy bills for low-income families so that uh, that's often the thing that ends up putting them on the street uh, after rent. Um, so, uh, you know, the list, uh, the list goes on, but certainly uh, infrastructure, if, if we head in the direction of just more highways and roads, then I think we've failed. Right here in Los Angeles, uh, the senator mentioned the ports. Well, if they could figure out a way to break through the kind of environmental and political logjam, you've got two major railroads that would like to build uh, major railroad lines near dock, on dock uh, facilities that would get trucks off the freeways, that would speed freight, that would create good union jobs. It's a win-win-win thing, but we let, you know, 200 screaming NIMBYites block a lot of good things in this town for political reasons. And if government would have a little more gumption, they don't have to necessarily put up the dollars. They have to have more uh, direction and skill. And frankly, they've got to get more pressure from the, the 3,990,000 people who live in the city and the people in the county uh, who are standing quietly by and letting really good things not happen. So I think uh, if, if the Obama enthusiasm can translate it into not just waiting for him to lead us forward, but to get more people involved, put more pressure on political leadership to do the right thing for the broader community. That's, I think, what our report recommended uh, to the mayor.